Hello friends, Max Dandy here, and today I'm gonna help you choose the right storage device for your Xbox Series console. Feel free to use the time codes to quickly get to the topic you are more interested in. And let's begin! Before we compare all the methods, I want to mention that the installation process is pretty much the same. You plug in the driver and your Xbox offers you to format it for media usage or as a storage device for your games. You also can choose the new driver as a default place to download the games. So nothing difficult here and let's compare them all. The first thing that you may consider buying is a hard drive. It's a good option and the cheapest storage solution. For about $50 you may get 1 terabyte of usable space. But you should know that games with this batch are optimized for Xbox Series and cannot be played from these drives. Is this a big problem? I don't think so. Because you still can store these games on the drive and transfer them to the internal storage when you need to. It actually may save you a lot of time because it's much faster than downloading a game every time from the Microsoft Store. And of course you can play any other game right from the hard drive. That's what I do. All these games you see are stored on my hard drive and I easily play them without moving to the internal storage. Now let's talk about USB flash drives. The minimal requirement for using external drives is it should be 128GB and USB 3.0. And I got one. This is a SanDisk USB-C to USB-A dual drive. Can it be used with an Xbox? Yeah, but only as a media gallery. I tried playing games from it and it's just unplayable. I tried Metro and had massive lagging. Also it gets so hot that I'm just scared to use it with my Xbox. So I don't recommend using such flash drives with Xbox Series. The next thing you may think about is external SSD drives. Is it better than hard drives? Of course, the copying speed is much faster and the load times are quicker. But is it worth it? Well, if you have enough money, why not? This thing may save you some time and it's also completely silent compared to hard drives. But it has one downside. Same as hard drives, you cannot play optimized games from SSD. And for this problem, there is a solution. Official expansion card made specifically for Xbox Series. It's pricey, but it has no downsides. It's easy to use, you just plug it in and it's ready to go. It functions exactly like internal storage. You can play optimized for Xbox Series games from it, and there is almost no low time difference compared to the internal storage. Now let's compare the copy speed of all these drives. As a reference I chose Forza Horizon 5, which is about 100GB. And as you can see, the hard drives are much slower. It takes around 18 minutes for hard drive to transfer it. That's when SSD comes in handy. And the time goes down to 6 minutes. I also tried the expansion card, and yeah, this thing is super fast when you copy games to it. It takes only 3 minutes to transfer 100GB game to it. Now let's compare the load times. First let's try the game I can play from all of these drives. It's an Xbox One version of Far Cry 5. And as you can see the SSD is around 40 seconds faster than the hard drive. And compared to the expansion card, it shows a fantastic result. But you still cannot run optimized games from SSD. So let's test Optimize Cyberpunk and Forza Horizon on the internal storage and the expansion card. Forza Horizon 5 starts identically in 35 seconds and Cyberpunk in 54 seconds. No difference. So let me just tell you my experience with these drives and what I prefer using. After getting the expansion card I'm still using external drives. Not even SSD, just a regular hard drive, because I get a lot of space for not much money. And I don't mind moving games when I need to. But I'm interested in other people's opinions, so let me know which one you think is a better storage solution and why. And if you have any other questions, just ask me in the comments, I'll be happy to answer you. So that's it, thank you for watching and see you in the next one, bye!